hello you lot wanted me to come to home sense so i'm going to pop into a big home sense which is at mary hill which is a shopping center in the midlands it's kind of the biggest one that i have round by me so i'm gonna have a little look at all the easter stuff i'm gonna look at i can see like little knitted bunnies look at the easter stuff i'm gonna look at maybe have a little look at the candles i'm gonna see if i've got any raiden stuff which i am doubtful uh, mum also wants me to get her um some placemats i've just been on the phone to her. she requested some black and gray placemats but not slate very very specific so i'm gonna have a little mooch around and i'll bring you lot with me okay coming in this is beautiful i am gonna pop to home bargains at some point to see what wreaths they've got and if you remember we had these green bunions well a bit smaller in poundland so these are 5.99 Lots of cute bunnies. That's a cute one. Um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to take that back. I'm not sure what I think about these ones. Let me know in the comments. It's got like a big funny thing in his in his head. Oh my god! However, I nearly tripped over then. <gasps> right, calm. Restrain yourself. Okay. This is really pretty, and I have this real thing for pom poms. Right, that's going in my brain as I, I may purchase. How much is it? Twelve ninety nine. I've got some little eggs to hang off the tree, so you can get one of these tree here. I've got some sticks I have up all the year round. Uh, all lights up. Oh my gosh, they've got so much stuff. We've got chocolate. Let me know who has doors this big to put a big bloody wreath on like that. If you've got one of those, I want to know in the comments love that um easter cards do we send easter cards what oh i might have to get myself some little towels so i'm gonna have a look around everything and then come back and pick up what i want giant easter eggs oh that's so cute i love all the bunny stuff Side note, I am obsessed with baskets. <laughs> Just wanted to put that in there. I bloody love a wicker basket, mate. Okay, I've got some of these, which I've had a few years ago, and we've kept and I still use them to this day. Giant, not ceramic, what's that? Like, oh, like a concrete bunny. It's not a concrete bunny. Some cute towels. I'm not sure what I think about the nutcracker bunnies. What, what did, how do I make it move? What happens? Oh, nothing happens. Oh, just a hole in its neck. Immediately, I'm drawn to him because <laughs> it's my spirit animal. Hello. Uh, love cloak rose here. I love these little tiny signs. These are good if you have a um, hot chocolate station. That's very cute. Super cute. We've got some more grass bunnies. Obviously, that seems to be a thing now. Oh, I like this spotty one. Spotty bunny. Oh, that's cute. That's like a real one, isn't it? Why don't you take a shot every time I say cute? Um, oh, that's very vintage. That's nice. Not sure about that, but, you know, takes all sorts. Oh, my gosh, this brings my heart such joy. $6.99, $7.99, they're so pretty. I do think I've got one at home actually. I need to have a look. <gasps> My little one's cute, another shot. What are you gonna have? Are you gonna have tequila this time? Some all lovely little bunnies. That's beautiful. These are nice to keep in kids' bedrooms afterwards as well. Or mm. just in your own bedroom. Oh, look. They're really nice. We've got some lovely plastic flowers now remember um oh, i think you've seen i did a home bargains haul recently and they had peonies not as big as this but they were a lot cheaper but they're beautiful some more little baskets i like the square the rectangular ones I, oh, i've said it before i'll say it again who the heck is having this my house must be really small. People in other countries, let me know if your houses are bigger than British houses. I really like that. I really like the wreaths. They're nice. You know what, we've not seen any. Any gnome. 
I always fruitlessly come and have a little look at the mugs to see if I can find any Raiden ones. They just don't sell, seem to be selling them in the UK anymore. It makes me so sad. We used to have loads, but no. I'll have to wait till my next trip to Florida. They have got some adorable little ceramic things. That's cute. I really like that as well, to put no cakes and a bake, because I don't bake anything. That's really nice. I have got something similar. Oh, oh now this. This is a bit like the Raiden stuff they have. Um, I'll link below like videos with Raiden Easter stuff in. That's cute as well. Let's have a look at the tea towels. Oh look, that's lovely. A little bunny, that's $2.99 lots of towels I like the carrots ones that's cute $4.99 oh look at that with the little bunny cotton tail that's a nice one actually I've got that one at the back there at home already oh look I like that oh, I need to have a little look around and I think what I'm gonna purchase now I like this this isn't Easter but I just like it anyway lovely they've got some lovely cushions in lots of nice pink ones which i probably wouldn't have an aluminium i would have them but i have to you know give in to steven sometimes but my um i've got like this these colors in my living room and they've gone like flat from too much sitting on so i might pick up a couple of but the pom-poms would lucy eat the pom-poms i mean we all know the answer is yes but shall we risk it Oh, they've got sets of double ones over there. Might be quite a good idea. Guys, I found the only bit of Ray Dern in the shop. And it's these matches. Now, I have had um, these kind of sets before. And they're really hard to light. However, I do like the ones that say love on it. They're really... <laughs> They're like sometimes I like snap in half. So I'm not recommending you to get them, but I am quite tempted to get. I do like the love one, and I like the pink as well. I think it looks really nice. Hmm. And then I really like the idea of the jar afterwards because bef can you, do you reckon? Do you reckon I'd be able to clean that off after? But the jar is really nice. But yeah, that's the only way done I've seen thus far. I'm in the candle bit. I found one with a bunny on which is a lilac. Mm, average, or oh, found some with eggs on the top. Um, ocean sea salt, that famous Easter scent. No, but I have just smelt this one before and it was really nice. Uh, peony apple. That reminds me of a perfume I used to wear. I really like that one. So I might get that one. Um, for my bedroom. Oh, it's a big bugger. Is it a three wicker? Oh. I'm gonna get that one. Next, I popped to Home Bargains, which of course had the world's loudest music. So here's some of the stuff I love there. They did have some wonderful wreaths, very similar to last year. I've got one in my fireplace as we speak. I absolutely adore this little bunny wreath. I think it's so cute. And I also love the happy Easter sign. Again, this is something that I had from last year and I did pick up the bunny, bit of a spoiler for the haul portion. Then if we go over to the kind of creative section, 99p for these brilliant sprinkles. I'm debating a hot chocolate stand for Easter. Is that a bit crazy? They've got lamb mugs, which actually are quite similar to the ones that are in Poundland. They've also got these lovely little wooden bunnies for £1.49. Very similar to something you get in Home Sense. I picked up the tall bunny because I already had the other bunny from last year. They also had some great candle holders. I love all the pale colours, the pinks and the blues. And I just thought these would look really lovely in a fireplace. For 59 p Look at these beautiful little glass bunny milkshake containers. I love them and I popped a couple in basket for my little kiddos. They had some great activity books. 
This was just under £2 and it's a spring make do and activity book which would be perfect for kids my age to kind of like from I'd say from five upwards. Really really good, simple activities, brilliant for Easter time and I thought it was really good value and looks like a great present. For 79p they had sticker books which again my two love for a nice little rainy day afternoon activity. They also had some books for younger children as well so a really great range. Now if you watch my Poundland haul you will notice that we have everything we could possibly need for Easter bonnets but they did have some great Easter bonnet sets in Home Bargains. You could buy like a whole kit so you didn't need to buy individual bits but they did have the individual bits and pieces if you wanted it and need to make that bonnet. They have some other great activities, they had some wooden hanging signs which I know my two children would love colouring in. They had a giant craft box in case you don't want to buy your kids some chocolate you want to get them something else this is a really nice option. I know my two would really love that as well. They had, you could colour in handbags. They also had some really nice bunnies that you could colour in. They had some sticks that you could use for Easter egg hunts. So lots of great craft activities that I know that children would love and a really fantastic little egg set at the bottom there. Do you send cards at Easter? Am I one of the only people that sends cards at Easter? We always pick up a little set for around a pound. These were 99p. And we generally send them to nannies and granddads and maybe a few of the kids' friends if they want to. But we do pick up Easter Bunny cards. In Home Bargains, they have non-religious ones. They have cartoon ones. They have animal ones. So they have a really, really good selection. Everything you're looking for. Um, and of course, the religious ones as well. Home Bargains had loads of chocolate eggs. We're not getting the eggs. Just yet guys because I know I'll eat them. I have real issues with eating them but they've got loads of lollies and all sorts of things in the shop. Really really good range, reasonably priced. I've popped into the range. I've never come into the range to do any kind of come shop with me or haul but I thought I'd have a little look for you. So they've got Easter eggs. They've got these cute little, these baskets are nice. Oh, little toddlers would love those. Then you get a little shopping basket afterwards. And that's $1.99 with the eggs in and a quid without the eggs in. We've got little bags, but these are cheaper at home bargains, to be, to be fair. We've got some stickers. We've got some cards. Um, oh, some Easter medals. What does one require an Easter medal for? I don't know what that's all about, but I know Ethan would flipping love that. We've got some sequin bunny ears, Easter boppers. Oh, what's this? This looks pretty. Oh, some happy Easter, like wooden words. Now, they had similar last time in Home Bargains. I didn't see them the last time I went. I mean, like last year. But they've got with little bunnies on or little chicks on. They're really cute, actually, for £2. What other ones have they got? Just bunnies and chicks. Oh, I might get the bunnies one. Right, I like that. We've got some more chocolates. Uh, they've got a few decorative pieces. I really like this happy Easter sign. Rabbit with an egg. The green bunnies are very popular. These I like a lot. Maybe, hmm, maybe I might get one of them. We've got a little heart. I think I might get one of these for my, I'm debating a hot, which one should I get? I think I'm going to get that one. They've got some more bits and pieces over here. They've got bunny cups, green bunnies back again. They've got bunnies on a swing. Some really cute pom-pom bunting. Some fluffy bunnies. I'm not sure about those. I like Mr. Bunny on a carrot car. Where you go, Mr. Bunny. And lots of plastic flowers I'm not sure that's the greatest one actually I think this one's really nice with love on but yeah I didn't even know the range did like I know they do great Christmas decor but oh someone needs to go to the chills but I didn't know about um Easter stuff they're cute hello guys so I've bought back home the stuff that I bought so I've got a little bit from home sense some from home bargains a couple of items from the range guys do I need to do a bit more of a 
in depth look at the range what do we think i think i definitely will at christmas time because i know they have lovely christmas stuff but i'll be honest because we don't have one that close to home it's not a place that i visit that regularly but i will show you the other bits and bits. i'm just looking at my you will you'll see you'll see here is the home sense stuff so you might have already seen on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go and follow it. I always pop the bits and pieces that I love on there. I got this Easter wreath, which is 12 99 but I think it's... Oh my gosh, it's glorious. This will last me up until Halloween. It's going to go in my front room. My front room has kind of got like a pom-pom theme. It's where we have like the children's books and stuff. So, loved that. It's not coming out quite as colourful. Oh, stroking the pom-poms. I also picked up two new cushions because our other cushions I'm going to show you. Hang on. A new shelves. Lucy's looking at me as if I've lost the plot. <laughs> You're going to go, Emma. They're as flat as a pancake. I am going to chuck the pillow insert but I'm going to wash the pillowcase and put that away. But yeah, these are a bit better and these were two for £20. Lovely. I picked up the peony apple candle for $12.99 and it really reminds me of a perfume I used to have a long, like when I was younger and I can't remember what it was and it's going to drive me mad and I know in the middle of the night one night I'll sit up and go, oh it's that perfume, but um, I love the... Uh, DW home candles I will say and this is a, a, a warning be careful make sure you trim your wick and stuff because this is the kind of candle it does let out a little bit of black smoke so you have to be quite careful so that's gorgeous I think actually, they go quite nice in the little um the lid as well like a little rest that might go up in my bedroom and I got the love candle stick <laughs> they're called matches not candlesticks matches in pale pink and i just thought this was gorgeous and i am going to use a few of them and then this would definitely be something that i'll get out for valentine's day i just loved it um i do i'm going to try and work out if there's a way i can get the um thingy me thingy me bob bit off at the back so i can keep that forever right and then home bargains it was nice to go without the kids so i could pick up some little bits and bobs there they don't they, they don't watch this video so we're okay i got for 79p each i got a li little activity book i need to say little then <laughs> a little i got a little activity book chubby chicks busy bunnies so they'll have one of those each i also picked up these egg cup buckets in kind of like pastels let me turn you down a bit you're very bright it's not picking up the colors quite as good in lovely pastels so I love these. I won't probably use them for real eggs, but I might put cabbage cream eggs in them, or I might put them on. I'm, I'm, I'm debating whether I'm going to have an Easter hot chocolate station. We'll see. Do we have hot chocolate in Easter? I'm not sure. I got these little chick serviettes, which I just thought was really adorable. Little, I love the logo. I thought it was really, really cute. And I actually think they look quite expensive. I also got some Easter bunting. I have put up some spring decorations. Um, so I haven't got all the easter stuff up as yet because i've still got some bits and pieces um because we store our stuff in the garage so i have it for a few years so but i thought that was really nice i got this which i thought was oh i thought it broken then did you see the look of fear on my face how cute is that it reminds me of that guess how much i love you guess how much i love you little bunny but i thought that was beautiful and that will go probably in my kitchen. I really love it. I just think it's so, I think that's so pretty. It's such good value for money. I think it was like 149 or something. I picked up two of these for 59p. You would have seen them in the come shop with me, but I got a blue one and a green one. I like the pink one, but nobody likes pink apart from me. But these will go in their little Easter basket. They're so cute. And then I'll keep them for next year and get them out. We did have do we have like a plastic one but um it must have had a little bit of damp in it and then when i got it back out of the box it gone a bit gross that was a shame so i need to make sure they're all dry i got some easter bunny cards for the family for 99p so nuns and granddads 
I got some sprinkles. I love the Jane Asher edible sprinkles. I mean, what unedible sprinkles would be a terrible idea to put on top of a cake, but edible sprinkles, they always do really nice kind of seasonal sprinkles in home bargains, so these are great. I also feel like the Jane Asher stuff is sometimes in Poundland, maybe. Don't quote me. I bought this little bunny because I had the other bunny already and that's in my fireplace, so I'm gonna have him. I do wonder maybe if you could paint these or if you don't mind, you perhaps get your kids to decorate them as well. Really lovely. And finally, from the range, I opted for the pale pink uh, egg cup Easter basket. So I'll put some, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm still debating my hot chocolate station. We'll see. And I've got the nice bunny Easter bun tin. I liked the colors of the other Happy Easter better in the other one. Uh, but I prefer the bunnies to the chicks. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like me to do another range video. I know some of you mentioned doing a video with mum. Um, I will be doing a video with her, you know, in a few weeks' time, maybe, if we can get together. We pop, pop, pop to Costco. Not at the moment, because Costco's a bit bonkers at the moment with the old coronavirus. So we're kind of avoiding that. People getting all their toilet rolls. <laughs> but if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, um, a high five if you're going to subscribe. And I love you lots. See you later guys, bye.